And good evening, welcome to Sports Friday. And a lot has been happening in the world of sport as usual. We're here to break it down for you and tell you what's coming, what's happened, and each and everything that has happened in the world of sports. I am your host, Eddie Ogoe, and joining me on set today is none other than Edgar Obiro, who will be my analyst of the day. <laughs> Uh, to get on, uh, a lot has been happening in the world of sports from uh, English Premier League and Yenakuja Vijuzi. There has been some qualifier matches that has been played throughout the week. And uh, to mention, uh, I would like to start with the Manchester United story, but I think it's... Uh now, to begin with, let's start with tensions as the Lioness qualify for the 2020 Olympics, uh, for the 2020 Olympics that are soon to come. Now, the National Women's Rugby Sevens team Kenya Lioness have qualified for the 2020 Kenyan Olympics after cruising into the Cup Finals at the ongoing African Sevens in Tunisia. Despite the victory, the Sevens are, and the 15 national teams have gone for a major continental world tournament without any support from the government. The Kenyan ladies on Tuesday protested lack of attention from the government upon arrival from Tunisia while they qualified for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. First, first, it was during the World Rugby Seven Series qualifiers in April Hong Kong where the team reached the semi-finals and the 2021 World Cup African qualifiers, the 15th that was also the Rugby African Cup in August, this, where, this year where the Lions finished second behind South Africa. Now Edgar, yes. uh, it has been uh, often been claimed that uh, normally we, we tend to give support mostly to the Men. male rugby team rather than the female rugby team. Uh, what do you have to say about this? Okay, looking at this matter, Oona Bada Hawa Nawake Kwenda Katakaha Mashindano, they wanted to prove a point. They wanted to prove a point that, uh, as Eliud Kipchoge said, no human is limited. If a bus will be under the machine, will it take a kufanya? Will it be busy enough to go on a kwamba? At a licha wa kukosa ule ufadili wakoweza kufanya kweli. Na yule poa, but alafu kuna kitu moja mimi nilikuwa nimekishangaza. Mm -hmm. Now, a watu isi mara kwanza wajapatiwa support na of course tumekuwa hapa hivi tumekuwa tukilala mikaza kila wakati venye uh, national team azipatiwa support kila wakati especially the female rugby teams, ndio? Au no. uh, especially the female teams, not the rugby team but female teams. But hapa hivi tumefika, this is not the first time that it is happening. Uh, of course most likely this is not the last time it happened. So what do we do? What where do we go from this place to 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 us having a very safe place because wamefika mpaka mali wa mazako protest and this is before the games. Now, what do we do about that? What we should actually do, as I always say, to angalia michezo yetu kama kazi. Tusije tuka angalia tu michezo kama michezo. And uh, this female rugby team ni tumu ambayo inafaa kupigia upato sana na kupongezo. Kwa sababu, licha hawa kukosa ule ufadili, wamaonyesha kwamba sisi tunaweza na sisi tunaweza. Hii ni kuipea kwa pea wa ufadili changamoto na serikali. Kwamba inafaa wengie kati na kuweza kusaidia iti. Well, all the best for them as they proceed to the Tokyo uh, 2020 Olympics. We hope that by the time you talk Afrika, all will be sorted and the financial issues that they're facing at the moment will all be gone. Now, as we still on rugby, Sevens kicks off this weekend as Feni is eager to test the level of the local boys. Now, Kenya coach Paul Feni has described Shuja and Moran's opponent as this weekend Safari Sevens as tough and interesting. Mwamba Kwani Sinjera and William Ambaka of Kenya Harlequins are back in the Kenya Shuja side that will be counted by Andrew Amonde of Kenyan Commercial Bank KCB that is at this year's Safari 7th this weekend. Injera and Ambaka make a return to Kenya Shuja Falls after staying out of the whole last season. They are among the 16 players 16 players who had boycotted training over slashed salaries and allowances. The team also has Jacob Oje from KCB, who captained the team last season, Nelson Oyo from Nakuru, Bush Mwale from Homeboys, and Michael Wanjala from Homeboys, and Daniel Tabu from Mwamba. Jeff Oluoch of Homeboys will captain the Morans, who have in their ranks the likes of youngster John Stone Olindi from KCB, and Geoffrey Okwach from KCB, and Haman Humwa from Queens. Now, uh, Sevens is one of the most interesting rugby events in Kenya, I, I would say, because I have attended a couple. Now, what, what um, going to this one, uh, Kenya, of course, has a new, new coach uh, who was appointed recently, and so much expectation is on him. I love Pia Kunele pressure, considering that uh, the, the, the Kenyan rugby team is, is one very much respected, especially the Sevens is a very respected worldwide because of the uh, kind of performance they've been putting through. So, what do you see are his biggest challenges to Kenda Kwai Nini Hi tournament Sevens that is coming tomorrow? Okay this weekend the, our, the coach that has been appointed has one big challenge to handle your pressure 
wajua unapoenda mahali fulani ambapo watu wamekuwa wakifanya vizuri unakuwa na ile pressure hawa jamaa lazima wafanye vizuri hivyo basi akihandle hilo pressure basi tutakuwa tu sawa kwa sababu mimi naamini rugby sevens siku zote si ufanya tu kweli na siku zote si ufanya tu kweli na. so uh, ono na uh, aki, aki, okay because the team that akona at least this time ni better last time ule coach mwenye alikuwa alikuwa na a lot of issues considering the fact that kuna ma players walikuwa na protest because of salary again she does a pesa hii manza ku intense ndio mm. anyway again she does a pesa zilifanya ma players waka protest last time ine yenye ilifanya kenya wali underperform so much kwanza kwa world the world rugby tours that wali underperform in a very very incredible manner that actually should tour the world so uono na this time u coach akitumia the best players that we have which most of them wame, wame, wame attend the camp uno naweza ka make it through at least ku come up with a good squad with the competition that are ahead of him na uh, kitu cha kwanza ni kitu cha kwanza tutaongelea kwanza shida ya pesa shida ya pesa naam hii hata hizi hata companies should step in na waweze ku kwa sababu rugby sevens ni vitu ambavyo tumeona vimefanya vimefanya kweli katika hii taifa yetu sasa shida ya pesa ifai kuwa kwa, kwa, kwa rugby sevens alafu kitu kingine ni unajua mchezaji kitu cha maana cha mchezaji ni ile motivation sasa kama umlipi mtu hiyo motivation haitakuwa hivyo basi akihandle hiyo pressure na kuwa na motivation there will be good result. Well, all the best to coach Fene as he prepares uh, for the oncoming uh, Kenya se- uh, rugby sevens that are to be played this weekend. We hope and wish all the best for the rugby team. Now, uh, recently, uh, the president uh, opened the Kenya Safari rallies, which had been uh, well, of course, Nazaka Samai Kukwa for so such a long time, but uh, the president recently opened it, and uh, it has been lacking some financial support. But Safaricom are the latest sponsors of the East African Classic Rally. The 2019 East African Safari Classic Rally has secured a partnership deal with Safaricom. Safaricom will pump in 13 million sponsorship to the ninth edition of the famous East African Safari Rally. The amount will support operations, logistics, and communications during the rally, which will take place between November 27th and December. December 6th. The rally is set to cover more than 4,500 kilometers in Kenya and Tanzania over nine days. Now, hii ni kitu watu ingi tulikuwa tumengoja. Mimi kwaza napenda safari rally kwa sabina tupetia gachans. Okay, CG much about rally that I won't lie. But at least I know enough to know that it's really fun to go to. Now, the, we kume kwa na shida kada a little bit of obstacles uh, since he rudishwe. Uh, that is to pre- preparations kama wata kume it safe enough but then there has also been the problem of finance that uh, the, the, the safari rally has been lacking now safaricom coming in which are one of the biggest sponsors of vitu za sports right now considering uh, sport pesa imetoroka mm-hmm. uh, what do you see how do you see this one will play out this time uh, okay looking at this matter uh, kitu cha kwanza ni kuwapongeza safaricom kuweza kuingia katika sponsorship ya safari rally na sasa hivi yenye inaonekana tutakuwa tunawategemea tu sana eh kitu kingine ala, kitu kingine ni challenge kwa other companies we have some other bigger companies that, that, Kenya. Uh, that should also invest in sports uh, now do, coming to this matter unaona sasa safaricom vile wamechipin hmm. hawa say watakuwa nao moral na wata, wata, watafanya na natumai kwamba matokeo yatakuwa tu bora well hata mimi nilikuwa naona hivyo but unaweza kuna kitu moja about safari rally it's it's just not about um I think I think uh, people mean as I can say I think most people are afraid uh, ku, 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 ku invest in it because uh, there was a time that people really invested in it and then it was removed and now it's back and so people don't really know where it stands so I think people are waiting for this event and the truth very well and then what can I mean the poor so what and the support those but then again what do we know do now sasa venya kuna sponsors eh venya kuna sponsors kitu cha kwanza ni we challenge ourselves Unajua hii kwa mfano sporti kama safari rally si sporti ambayo Kenya tumeizoea kwa sana na si sporti ambayo sisi tu tumejinasibisha nayo <coughs> sisi vijana wa sasa yeah. but vijana wa era ya moi wote walikuwa na jua kuyusu na waliattend incredibly kwa sababu mimi nakumbuka nikiwa mtoi safari rally ilikuwa inatangazwa kila siku so yes vijana wa sasa hii wa karne hii this century hawajinasibisha <laughs> sana na huu mchezo wa safari rally hivyo basi ni kwa hiyo ni changamoto kwa vijana sisi kwamba we step in and it's also a spot like any other. Well, uh all in for the safari rally and we'll be hoping that kila kitu tenda because most of us are really 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 hoping to go to the next safari rallies that we've been missing for quite a while remember it's a, it's been off for quite a while now but we'll be taking a small short commercial break as we tend to look upon other things but when we get back we do look at the bridget cosgay setting a new world marathon record all that for you in sports and more as we come back <laughs> 